exciting news. Very exciting news. And should we just tell them now? I think we just get, yeah, I think we just, just cut to the chase. Just cut to the chase. We just tell them. We are starting IVF. Yes. I said it out loud. Okay. Yeah. Um, it, it has, has been a long time coming. It has been such a long time coming. This year's been really, really hard. Lots of ups and downs. A lot of downs. A lot of downs. There really haven't been many yeah, true. ups at, in this at journey. all. There's, yeah. It's really just been like bad news and then more bad news. <laughs> Yeah. But this is really exciting news, and it's very early in the IVF uh, process for us. After the ectopic pregnancy, we had to wait for my levels to go down, and they did, what was that, like two weeks ago? Yep. Yeah. And so this is like the first step. This is the it's very like day one. first step of our IVF process, and today I'm getting some blood work done. We're just checking like some hormone levels and making sure that everything is where it needs to be. Because we are starting officially family planning next month. <laughs> I'm excited. I want a baby. We want a baby. I want to be a dad. I want to do dad stuff. I want to tell dad jokes. You already tell dad jokes. Yeah, <laughs> but I just, I don't know. I know you're going to be a fantastic mom. I can't wait to see it. So this is so exciting that we are starting this. Mm -hmm. And it's going to result in us having a family. It will. And... We're just so excited. We're so excited. I'm a little bit nervous, but um, as we said, it's like super early days. Today is June 14th. All I'm doing today is blood work. Um, Tom has a work meeting, so he can't come with me, which stinks, but that's okay. We should get the results back from the blood work all today too. And then from here, um, we'll be starting like late next month, the actual process going through the egg retrieval and the stimming process. And all, all of it. It's like, it's happening. It's happening. It's real life. <laughs> it's very exciting. It's real life. <laughs> real life. <laughs> so when do you think, like, ideally, you could get pregnant and have a baby, timeline less? Well, I should be pregnant by end of September at the latest. Oh which is like wild yeah that's insane um we don't want to give away like all of the exact detailed plans of what the timeline looks like we want to do our best to do everything real time with you with of course telling our immediate friends and family um our immediate immediate family and friends is the correct yeah we have friends. immediate friends and then we have like non-immediate <laughs> friends <laughs> Is that how that works? No, I just, okay. I meant to say immediate family yeah. and friends. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to obviously share with them this journey first, but we would like to keep this as real time as possible with maybe like a week's difference of what's going on. Um, but as far as today goes, it is June 14th. We should be releasing this pretty soon because this is super exciting news. It's time. Ah! Let's make this baby down. We are going to. Just put it right in your belly. Yeah. yeah. That's where they go. <laughs> You silly goose. Um, but it's gonna be it's gonna be good. It's gonna be exciting. I'm nervous. I'm excited, but I should be pregnant within the next couple of months, and that is an amazing feeling. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. All right, so I'm gonna do my best to take you on the journey today of the blood work. Like I said, Tom has a work meeting that he has to be at, um, so I'll do my best, like filming the process. I don't know how much I'm gonna actually be able to film, and I don't want to show like the blood and the goriness of it all because you don't want to see. Um, you don't want to see that, but I will take you to the hospital with me today and through that process. And then, um, we'll share the results with you in a little bit. All right. All right. So I just got to the hospital. I am in the parking lot right now. I realized I forgot all of my paperwork at home, so I'm going to have to go in and print it, but that's not a big deal. The people in the hospital literally love me. Um, I've been going here like every week for two months, so they're going to be excited to see me because I haven't seen them in two weeks. So, um, let's go on this journey. I don't know how much footage I'll be able to get, but I will do my absolute best. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so proud. I'm so happy for you. It's been a long time. I know. <laughs> I know. 
This has got to be hard, too. Do you have to travel all the way? Yeah. We'll be there in a few months. Okay. Ready for your pinch? Mm -hmm. Relax your hands. But it should only be like a few, a few weeks. Mm -hmm. weeks. Now, are, are they suggesting you do this because of the miscarriages, or? So the last one was ectopic, and I had to have a tube removed. Oh no! So yeah. Hi, Debbie. Hi, how are you? Good. How you doing? Good. Oh good. So you have one tube left, mm -hmm. so they don't want to risk. Yep. Exactly. Uh, my sister had. She had two. She had both of her tubes. Yeah. Not fun. Not, not very painful. Not it was, painful. yeah. It's, it's, it'll be six weeks on Thursday since I had the mm -hmm. surgery, but I've been feeling, feeling good. My levels went back down to zero two weeks ago. Oh, good. So now we're starting all this. All this? It'll this is good. stuff that you would get if you were pregnant. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so, yeah. I think so. I just want all the baseline all the preliminary mm -hmm. things. They do all these for pregnant women. So how are you doing there? Good. Got two more tubes and we're done. Alrighty. All right, so I am leaving the hospital. I am just in such a good mood. I love all the staff there. Um, and they all kind of wish me good luck on the way out, which is super, super exciting. All right, so it is the end of the day and it's just been kind of busy. We did open the results earlier because we couldn't wait anymore. <laughs> yes. Um, but do you want to share what the news was? Yeah, everything looks good. Everything looks everything good. Everything looks good. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> but, um, levels are good. Levels are good. Doctors are happy. Doctors, are, they said, I, I heard words like excellent. Excellent? Excellent level. Well, Okay, I like the pun. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> I was like, kind of like, irritated me. Yeah. Excellent levels of certain things. Yes. So that is amazing, which means that right now is kind of a waiting game. Um, we're going to wait until next cycle to start uh, some things moving. You might hear a bell. Pumpkin just figured out that if she rings Kona's bell to go outside, that, that means she gets to go outside. Silly cat. Um, but that means that things get to get moving. So I'm feeling anxious. Excited, nervous, and I think that's everything. Optimistic. Optimistic. Yeah. We've been having so many people send us rainbow sightings. I know. That's so nice and so cute and so meaningful, and we've been very appreciative of that. Yeah, and it's giving me so much hope, and I know I know our time's coming. Yeah. How have you been feeling about this? Well, I have, you know, this is not exactly how I envisioned having our first child, yeah. but... You know, thought, would think would be a little more of the traditional way. Right. However, that didn't work for you know us. Mm -hmm. But I think this is this is any way we can have a child. Yeah. This is the best way. I think so. It's the safest way for us. For right now, it is one hundred percent the safest way. And that's what I care about: your safety, mm -hmm. baby safety, mm -hmm. just having a baby with you. We're gonna make me crash, weirdos. Oh. How do you feel? I feel all the same. I think I, you know, we got pregnant naturally twice, which was amazing. But um, just in terms of the health risk and the factors that we're at now, especially after the ectopic and the surgery, this is definitely just the safest way for us. And it really doesn't matter how this baby comes into the world. I just know that you're going to be an amazing dad and we're going to make an amazing team. Can't wait to be a dad. And it's all going to be great. It is. It is. So this is a good first step yeah. in our process, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, so we're going to we'll document what happens. We are going to document all of this. We'll keep you up to date, as I said earlier, um, as in real time as possible. But any questions that you guys have along the way, please do not hesitate to put them in the comments. And if anyone has been through this IVF process, please, please, please share all of your tips and tricks and any spouses of those. Who have witnessed yeah, the IVF process. I should probably get a lot of tips and tricks as well. How to manage me and... How to manage oh your wife who is managing 
the process. Yes, but leave all the advice and tips and tricks below, please. Kona's like, we <laughs> on a bone now. Um, but don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. More are coming, more updates. This is gonna be the spot for all things baby schweers. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Alrighty. stay tuned. We'll, we'll, we'll keep you updated. We will. All right. We love you. Bye, everyone. Love you. Bye.